Hello Fighter fans, I'm here in Hamamatsu, Japan for Rising 21st. Today I will share with you uh, in the, a little bit interview with JQ. He's not very here from this card, but he have uh, some interesting thoughts about some fights and, and he talks about your fees future too. I hope you enjoy it and subscribe and like it too. Hey brother, uh, so for the first question, um, with Jiri leaving to the UFC, it kind of leaves a big hole in that light heavyweight division, a hole which I am more than willing to fill. But with that being said, um, I love taking fights at heavyweight, at open weight. Um, I think there's great fights for me in both divisions. Uh, I think there's great fights for me at that 105 pound that I fought, or 105 kilos rather, that I fought Ishii at. So basically, anywhere from 93 to 400 kilos, I'm happy to take over. But my thing with it is, at the end of this year, um, I'm going to be fighting for a belt. Don't know if it's going to be at 93 kg. Don't know if it's going to be at open weight. Don't know what it's going to be at. But I'm going to be fighting for a belt. So as far as Roki Martinez goes, man, Roki and I had a hell of a fight. He, um, he's got a good fight ahead of him with uh, Hideki Shrek. Um, I reckon Rocky gets through that pretty easy. And uh, like I said before, um, if we move forward in the heavyweight division, um, there's every chance that Roki and I see each other again. That's one of those fights that I reckon the fans would love to see again. I know I'd love to do it again. Roki broke his hand in the first one. And, um, you know, I feel like he deserves another shot. And um, at the end of the day, Roki's a good guy. And I got no problem fighting dudes like that again. So, yeah, man, we can run it back. I wish him the best of luck in his upcoming fight, though. Man, the um, the coronavirus thing, it's, um, it's sad, man. It's really sad. Um, my heart goes out to, you know, everybody in China. And especially, I mean, people, it's not even just China. It's people worldwide. Um, you know, I mean, it's, the infection is getting everywhere. Um, but especially to those in China, you know, it's really affecting them. Um, that being said... Um, I have heard about some MMA shows being shut down. Um, I've got all the faith in the world in not only in Ryzen, but also in Japan. In They're pretty good about um, keeping things under control with that sort of stuff. So I don't foresee any fights upcoming that um, would be harmed by that. But, I mean, at the end of the day, we need to look outside of, you know, MMA and our daily life and look at the fact that, you know, this shit like shit, this type of shit's being allowed to happen, man. <laughs> You know, shit's wild, but um, I don't foresee it um, affecting me being able to fight anytime soon. Yeah, look, as far as, uh, look, Miraku Asukara, that kid has blown up. And, you know, I would love to be able to um, get the same kind of interactions with the fans that he does. Uh, I think as a gaijin, it might be a little bit difficult. But, you know, to go into kind of the next thing, like, you know, I'm, I'm working on my Japanese stuff. You know, I'm, I'm actually sitting here. Studying Japanese as we as we do this. I'm about to head to class. I'm working on my hiragana, trying to get everything down. Watashi wa Jake wa, or Watashi wa Jake Des, uh, Watashi wa America Jin Des, and Watashi wa Ichiban Rising Fighter. I forgot how to say fighter. It's hard, but uh, I'm working on it, man. And um, like I think a lot of guys go up to Japan and they, you know they say like, oh, I love Japan. I love Japan. Like it's true, but. I truly do love that place. Um, it's got a really special place for me, and I um, I plan on running out my career there. And you know, I want to finish there, and I want to finish there with a belt, and I want to be as big in Japan as I can possibly be. So I'm gonna do whatever it takes to get there. And I know the Japanese fans love me, and I love them back. And we're just gonna uh, we're gonna keep riding this train. You know, I'm waiting for JQ and beer. That's gonna be the big thing up there. Honey bear beer. <laughs> Kuma beer. Uh. So when uh, the old Shiori Kuma beer comes out, then uh, Shiori Kuma beeru. There we go. That's what we'll call it. <laughs> but uh, man, and then uh, as far as my next walkout goes, come on, brother. I ain't giving you shit. <laughs> I'm gonna do something special on this one, though. I really, really want to be on um, the uh, Ryzen 22, the uh, April card. I know nothing's been announced or anything yet. But look, if you, the Japanese fans, everybody, guys, just get on Twitter and let them know you want to see the Honey Bear back because I'm going to come put on a goddamn show for you guys like I do every time. But I've been working on some stuff, and i got something special planned for everybody. 
Arigato gozaimasu. See you guys soon.